we put it up here in the window. Here you can get a nice view of it. Uh, that's one of our uh, signature dishes here in the morning. Barbecue in the morning, trapper style. Barbecue in the morning, trapper style. Yep. And all you do is you just yell, order up, come get it. <laughs> why are women, when they make a decision they want to do something, why does it take them so long? I, I don't know. Once you get to the point, let's do it. Yeah. What is the problem? I have no idea. Vominos. I have, I have no idea. We have no answer. That Wait, is what? the question of the year. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> All right, so we're in uh, Glacier National Park on the Golden Sun Road, and it looks pretty beautiful. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> So by the way, we found some really good barbecue joints, and um, as soon as we're done with this uh, going in the Sun Road business and Glacier National Park, we're going to go get some barbecue, take you guys with us. But in the meantime, check out this beauty. Take a picture of Todd. <laughs> Taking a picture. Here's the alternate scam. Hey, look. Hey. Fans. Clark. How you doing? Beautiful day. Yeah, but you ready for some barbecue? Oh, you betcha. I am. Building it up right now. All right. All right, so we stopped in Waterton, Canada. It's in the Glacier Park, their version of Glacier Park. And we're near the Prince of Wales Hotel, which is this spectacular hotel that's right here. It's pretty neat. And what's really neater is the view if it wasn't so rainy. Right, Clark? Hi, everybody. Here we are in Canada. <laughs> Beautiful day. So we're in Waterton. Just got back from the Prince William uh, Lodge. Now we're in our little humble abode. But I wanted to show you this view. It's spectacular. So looking down. Yeah, that's awesome. But what's really neat, when you look back, there's uh, Prince William Lodge right up there. It's pretty neat. 100 year old lodge, we were just there having some beer. There's another lake that goes off that way. And then uh, got some pretty big mountains here. Now it's kind of rainy, it's kind of cloudy, so uh, the views aren't too spectacular right now. But way over here is Glacier National Park, about 15, 20 miles. The other end of the lake, you could actually boat to the U.S. side of the border. It's kind of neat. Hey, good morning. Uh, if we haven't already welcomed you to the channel, my name is Todd. My buddy Clark here. Hi. So as you good know, morning. so as you know, we're traveling with with the uh, with the wives, and we're up here in. Um, Waterton, Canada, which is Alberta. Yes, Alberta. Which is the province of Alberta. And we're staying in a nice little hotel. So while we were in town last night coming in, we found that they have a barbecue joint here in town. Uh, a gentleman named Steve West. Uh, he's been cooking up some really good barbecue in this little mountain town of uh, Waterton. And uh, they only operate a few months out of the year. Six months out of the year. Yeah, and, and then he goes down to Florida um, and uh, does the rest of the year of barbecue down in Florida. Um, really friendly, family-run operation. Um, and we're going to go ahead and jump in there now. It's morning time. They're doing breakfast, but he said he had some breakfast uh, brisket, and he was going to show us around the uh, kitchen. So, uh, so don't go anywhere. Okay, everybody, we're back, and this is Steve West, the owner of Mountaintop 
No, Trappers, Trappers Mountain Grill here in Waterton Park. Trappers Mountain Grill in Waterton Park. And Alberta. we are in Alberta. Yeah. Canada. Canada. Uh, it's a beautiful town. Uh, I'll kind of add some B-roll for you guys. Check it out. We were up there at the uh, Prince of Wales. Hotel. Hotel up there. Yeah. We had a few beverages last night. Came down here to get in our, to our hotel and we discovered uh, Steve's uh, wonderful restaurant here. So we pledged to come back the following morning and, uh, and here we are. So tell us a little bit about, about your place, Steve. Well, Trappers Mountain Grill, this is uh, the 11th season here in Waterton Park. Our family's been here um, 45 plus years and uh, we love Waterton and we love the people that come and visit us here in Waterton. Mm. So uh, I brought a little of the south from the south back up here and started a little Q business mm -hmm. and uh, it's been doing very well. It's a beautiful place. Oh yeah. Beautiful truck. Yeah, thank you. So, what, what's, so what's the story with this truck? Well, it took me a long time, took me a long time to get this truck. Uh, a guy had it and um, I said, uh, boy, I'd sure like to buy that truck. And he said, well, it's what the same guy uh, that I wanted to buy it from told me, you know, I wanted to buy that truck. He said, well, you're not getting it. You're mm -hmm. not getting it. And uh, he finally left and when he was leaving, I said, hey, when are you gonna sell me that truck? And he gave me kind of the, not the thumbs up, but he gave me something else. So five five years in the making, he finally said, all right, one day I'm gonna bring it in, we're going for a ride. So it's not, not got 8 a.m., we're just, just about getting ready to go for breakfast, uh, but I'm gonna put some stuff on the smoker this morning. Mm -hmm. So you're more than welcome to come on in and then all uh, right. I'll show you how we do it. All right, let's go check it out. You guys can come along with us. All right, come on. So it's a nice little restaurant you got here. Yep, thanks. Okay, so uh, he's officially not open yet. So as you can see, I was we were in here last night and this place was bustling, it was hopping, it was busy. And that was a Monday night here in Waterton. Way out of the way, but a beautiful place. Uh, so I think here in a little while, as soon as they start uh, breakfast service, they're gonna be hopping again, so. Yeah, we will be. Yeah, we sure will. Come on back. Morning, Shelby. This is Shelby. This Hi. is my daughter. Hey, Shelby. Hi, how are you? I'm Todd. Nice to meet you. There you go. <laughs> and this is where they hide the liquor? Yes. There's my wife down there. She's Deb. That's Deb. Hey, Deb. Deb. Just look up. She's getting ready to work. <laughs> All right. Okay. Really nice kitchen. This Here's thing. My big, here's my big kitchen. This is big and clean, all right. And Canada has different kitchens, right? I mean, you know, uh, that's probably a stupid joke, but um, yeah, I was, uh, based on the size of the building out front, I was expecting kind of a smaller kitchen, but uh, this thing's pretty nice. It's, it's airy, it's really bright. Um, it's really yeah, super Yeah, we've, we've got high high ceilings in here, and uh, it makes a, it makes it a nice, comfortable work workplace in here. Yeah, very yeah. nice place. Okay, so what kind of brisket is this? This is a triple uh, A Alberta beef brisket. It's sourced here. It's sourced here from Alberta. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much all I can tell you. I've had really good luck. Okay. Really good luck. Looks with like a it. nice piece of meat. Yeah. This is this one here. This one here's got a little little chubbier on the on the mm -hmm. top. Okay. Um, I just do the standard stuff. I don't trim off. I don't trim off too much. You know, some people some people trim a lot. Uh, some people they just really you know form them up nice and straight. You you can do that, and uh, I guess I could do that for you today. Just to, when they come off the smoker, they'll be they'll be nice. Then you You're look down. Not trying to go for competition. No, no, no I'm not just... trying to go for competition. I just try to get just a little, take a little bit off, and you know, see here somebody got wild already. That wasn't me. That was already in the in the butcher shop up here. So I'll leave this pointy point up here. Some people trim that off, but this makes a great uh, great burn in. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll season this in just a sec. This is a nice brisket right here. This one's a lot better, I think, than the other yeah. one. But Was here's that about a, 12 pounds? Yeah, it's about 13. Uh, I don't know. I'd say I never know. Yeah, about 14 pounds. I need a scale for that stuff. I'll just take this little piece. This this will just get too crispy on here, so we'll take that off. Yeah, don't want anything burning. Most of them burn ends, I guess. Well, the burn ends, but they'd be they'd be mm. really crispy, crispy burn ends. Okay. We'll take this little piece off right here. All right. Now, so you uh, you don't make any sausage or anything. You just no, I I uh, you don't no, I'm a, a one man band. So sausage making would be really cool. I mm -hmm. I think having uh, sausage in here would be a great addition. And you know, maybe someday, maybe someday I'm going to uh, I'll bring that I'll bring that in here. Standard kosher salt. 
Okay. Some people mix everything up into one. Yeah. Nice and, and thick, coarse kosher yeah, salt. Yeah. And then I just put it on just you know just a nice amount on there. Mm -hmm. Everybody everybody's got their own little yep. own little idea. Absolutely. Coarse ground, black cor pepper. coarse ground black pepper. All right. That seems to be the most popular. I recipe think this. Right there. I think it. Keep it real. I think it is. Makes a nice peppery flavor. Peppers up that beef. Oh yeah. So your style. So you would consider your style southern or Texas style or what well. Of, Alberta style. I was mostly into. I was mostly into uh, pork and chicken, and ribs and baby back ribs. Mm -hmm. And um, not coming from Florida, but going to Florida ever since I was a little boy, uh, my grandfather did a lot of smoking on a lot of fish that we caught. So this was this really wasn't in in my in my forte too much. But then uh, once I got up here, you know, I started hearing brisket, 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 brisket. Mm -hmm. So I started getting into this. So this this yes, it does. I believe have uh, this little bit of Texas flair mm -hmm. but then I put on this here this is the southern this is the southern part of the spice and I'm not gonna tell oh. you I'm not gonna tell you what this is okay that's your because this is the this is the cool stuff that really brings out that uh, brings out that nice flavor okay. that everybody likes here looks like it's got a nice color yeah kind of, uh, my, my, I'm blind right now kind of orange kind of kind of orange mahogany color maybe uh, yeah, I'm not yeah. Sure. But I won't tell you if there's any sugar in here, or mm -hmm. I'll try to throw you off. Okay. There could be there could be ground up caraway seeds on this, for all you know, uh -huh. right? It's all right. <laughs> all right. Here's my smoker. Here's the old Southern Pride. Southern Pride. Southern, Southern Pride smoker. So you can get a look in here. It's, I've already got it going. I've got her smoking up. So what we'll do is we'll take it up, take it up here to get a rack. I'm burning hickory wood, hickory uh, log in here, uh -huh. and it's been working out really good. You can't find hickory around here uh -huh. at all. Where, so, where do you source your lumber or your wood? Sorry, I source this. This wood, all this wood. Watch yourself here. This wood all comes from the south. It all comes. Okay. All right. So this is a trailer bull. You take this. Uh, this is a trailer bull unit. Yeah. Trailer bull unit. But I don't take it anywhere. I just leave it right here. So, so this program. unit can actually be installed fixed. Oh, you it just, could be fixed. Yeah. You just happen to have it on a trailer. Happened to have. Did you order it that way, or did yeah, you? Yeah. No, I ordered it. Ordered it this way. Here, here's the firebox. Okay. There's the nice. hickory in there. Okay. You got some uh, gas assist. Yep. This is natural gas. Natural gas. Okay. Natural gas comes in here. All right. Of That's course, I opened, I opened the door. It's yeah, It came propane, but then I changed it to natural gas. Uh, natural gas has a little more humidity in it, and I think that, that does a nice job. I start with an extra extra piece of wood in here to get a good, healthy smoke um, to start with. It's getting near the end of the season now, so I only do, I'll do two of these today, and I'll start, I'll start the ribs, one portion of ribs today for lunch. And then as I get ready to go into dinner, depending on how lunch is today, I'll put some more on so they'll be nice and fresh, nice and fresh for dinner. dinner time. But these guys... Okay, so it's uh, basically 8 o'clock. Basically 8 o'clock. And you're going to smoke it for how long? Like put smoke on? I'm going to put the... I'm going to leave these in here until 4.30. Okay. So and that, that seems quite quick. Everybody's... No, eight, 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 eight or eight and a half hours. Yeah, eight or eight and a half hours. And I tell you what, I don't know what the deal is with this, but I will take them off and I'll let them, let them rest for a half an hour to 45 minutes. Okay. And then they, they turn out awesome. Oh, that's it. Okay, so you're not wrapping? No, I don't do any wrapping okay. or no wrapping. Right. Um, that's kind of on the level of hot and fast. Hot so, fast, so, hot so, fast. Yeah, I'm at like two, 245, give or take. So medium fast or yeah, whatever. Yeah, medium fast. Which uh, there's a lot of a lot of people doing hot and fast. It's coming out great. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's your style. And it's, it's, it's working my, for you. It's yeah. my style, and it's uh, yeah. doing a really good job for oh, me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. These are nice little nice little dudes. I'll put these on, and they'll go uh, probably just under. I'm guesstimating. I'll check them. I you know I always check them and twist them. But okay. probably right around four hours. Yeah. So you've taken the membrane off. Membrane is already off. 
Okay. Yeah. Got just a little bit of seasoning here. Now this seasoning is just my secret secret seasoning that I put on here. Okay. I don't need to do the pepper or this or that. You know, so I put that on here. How long, how long do you let the seasoning sit? On the I just, I took these out. I took these out, let's say maybe 20 minutes ago. I put the seasoning on there. Okay. And then just ready to go. I don't, you don't want to season them. I don't like to season them because you can see they're already getting wet. Yeah. It's already, yeah. it's, it's already, already, it's already yeah, yeah, sweat's already coming. It's already yeah. coming out there. Pulling out those juices yeah. from yeah. the Yeah, ribs don't really need a whole lot of No, it, uh, a lot of people, you know, they'll say, put them in a plastic bag and then marinate them, marinate them. I don't know. It's just not, just not my yeah, style. It yeah. doesn't need a lot of time there. doesn't need it. Yeah. So I'll just put throw these babies on here. Okay. All right, so do you ever have cooks where you're filling this uh, thing all the way up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I've got all these racks in here. Mm -hmm. Like I say, we're, we're uh, slowing down now. We open, the season opens in May. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's just as quiet in May yep. as, it is, as it is now. So, uh, yeah, this thing is, is plumb full. Mm -hmm. I do all my hamburgers in here. I do my baked potatoes in here. Oh, I put jalapenos in here sometimes. Yeah, I do lots of uh, lots of things, and it works great. Yeah, it works it works, it works really it works really good. So it, what Steve is alluding to is that for, what, six months? There's nobody yeah. here. Uh, basically, the snow just gets so severe up here uh, in Alberta. And uh, let's see what my boy Josh has got going here. All right, so this is Josh. This is Joshua. How you doing? Nice to meet you, Josh. Yeah. And what you got going on here? We got some eggs and some pancakes. Yeah. Pretty simple this morning because we just we just got open. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys do full blown everything. Yeah, we do full blown breakfast, mm -hmm. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. Yep, so, seven so days a week. What's your most popular menu item for, you know, if it's not barbecue, what else are people ordering? Well, we do steaks. We do steaks, uh, bison burgers. We have some really good salads. Okay, Steve's going to show us now how he makes their signature Trapper's brisket skillet. Uh, can't wait, but he's going to cook that up right now. So what I'm going to do right now is, uh, real quick, I'll whip you up one, uh, one of my brisket skillets. So first thing we do, we'll start with these potatoes. These potatoes have been uh, smoked on my smoker, so they've got a nice flavor. So we put those in the in the fryer. Take a couple eggs. Just put those on the grill right here. Put just a little oil on the skillet. Let that sit right there. Put a little of the brisket on the grill. Okay, so that's the same brisket you just showed us. Yeah, that's the same, same way. Same, same, same brisket, same style. A little leftover, a little oil on there. Okay. Gives a lot of extra. Gives, gives a lot of extra flavor in that. There's your eggs. All right, put those right on here. There you go. I put a little salt and pepper here on the potatoes. Here's the brisket here, put a little salt on there. We'll just put it back underneath. Put your potatoes on here. Potatoes, home fries. Home fries, I like to call them home fries. I like to call them home fries. And we put your what kind of you use on those potatoes? Just salt, just salt and pepper. Just salt, just salt and pepper. All right. Then here you go, the brisket now. Then on here, it's cooking up nice, smells good. Now is that brisket just kind of mixed point and flat? Or? Yep, yep, that's what it is. Kind of mixed in? Okay. A little flat, a little point. Right. Put this cheese on here, a nice amount of cheese. And then it goes up into here. Oh, okay. You let got that it. cheese, we'll let that cheese melt. It's a let little gas, huh? Put a couple pieces of toast in here and run it through. Okay. Some people call them uh, salamander. Okay. Cheese melter, hot, it's really hot. That's nice. Try like to get that cheese just a little. And just a little burn. Huh? That's how you serve it. Look at that. Cast iron skillet. Cast iron skillet. Trapper's Mountain Grill style. Here's the sauce. Okay, is that your sauce? That's my sauce, my barbecue sauce. So I'll put her up here. And there you go. Bingo. Oh, beautiful. Trapper style brisket skillet. Trapper style brisket skillet. All right. So Shelby and Steve are about to come and give us that wonderful dish they made. 
and we're excited to eat it. We've got a great view of the mountains here in Waterton. In Waterton. We saw it being prepared and what a delight it was to watch this magnificent dish coming out to uh, oh. for us to oh, devour. Right. I have a brisket skillet. All right. Look at that. I'm actually a dental hygienist as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm all good. Uh, I'm all good. <laughs> yeah, so I do a little bit of temporary work and then we close this place up and then we all convoy back down to Florida and wow. travel through the states a little bit. That's amazing. They work basically yeah. a half year and then these guys get to enjoy the rest of the country for the whole other half of the year. And work on new recipes for barbecue for the following year. Exactly. <laughs> I get to sample them. <laughs> this is beautiful. Awesome. Enjoy. Look at that, guys. All right. All right. So I'm going to try this brisket here first. <laughs> oh, it's good. Mm. Very good. You can tell that the potato's been smoked. You can taste the smoke in them. Mm-hmm. Everything is so flavorful. His um, the sauce that he makes himself really wakens it up. Beautiful flavor. And this chopped brisket is just falling apart. Nice taste. Perfect consistency. I've never had chopped brisket as a breakfast before. So this is another first for me. Same probably, here. Probably for I've never here. had it. But it's great. Um, it tastes awesome. And I'm going to have some more. Well, what do you think of that so, skillet? So, Steve. It's good. This is great. Very good. The, Very good. The Very brisket good. just falls apart. Um, seasoned perfectly. That, that sauce and his secret rub. Um, right on point. I think Steve knocked it out of the park with this one. Um, I, was, I was telling everybody I've never had brisket as a breakfast, or maybe I just never knew it, but, um, so it's a pleasant surprise. It's, it's a new way for me for eating breakfast, uh, brisket. Yeah, another method, another, another method um, to it. Yeah. How do you do? It's awesome. So far, so good? Oh, it's good. It's, I, I'd say it's probably one of the best breakfasts I've ever had that's barbecue based. Mm. You know, usually I order bacon eggs or, um, you know, just regular breakfast. Yeah, regular yeah. breakfast. Yeah. Or just nothing. Eggs over medium. Or drink yeah. a yeah, energy bacon. drink or something like that. <laughs> but but <laughs> this is right. awesome. The potatoes I've never are... had brisket for breakfast, but I'm telling you, this, I'm going to consider this from here on in. Yeah, Perfect. for sure. I don't know if I can top this one, though, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming along with us to Waterton, Alberta, Canada, and Trapper's Mountaintop Grill. Uh, Steve West, owner here, he knocked it out of the park with this dish and just about everything else that uh, he has on the menu here. Um, he's cooking it right. Um, it's definitely got the brisket down. And uh, and if you don't believe me, come up here, enjoy the scenery, and grab some barbecue. Uh, well, in the summertime, because uh, these guys are about to go enjoy the uh, lower 48 and, uh, and get to their own vacation. That's it. Enjoy life here. A yep. well-earned vacation, in fact. Yeah. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit us up in the description to links to his Facebook page, to see his Facebook page, and uh, and information on his restaurant. And uh, be sure to go check them out, give them a call, and uh, thanks, and we'll see you.